Hey y'all, Organizing Hire, welcome or welcome back. I share organization and productivity tips, tools, and resources. Be sure to subscribe if you are into that. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the newest Outlook plugin or add-in for uh, Todoist. So Todoist has had an Outlook add-in before that I personally was not really in love with. It was basically like you could see a small picture of your Todoist like list in Outlook, like next to it, almost like having Outlook and Todoist next to each other, which for me was not super helpful. Um, so I didn't ever really use the add-in, but with the newest version of the add-in, I'm seeing some potential and some ways to potentially use it, particularly as it relates to dealing with emails and processing emails that come in through the inbox. So if you're still kind of struggling with email a little bit, be sure to watch this video to show how Todoist might be able to help you process your inbox faster. So to get the Todoist add-in, you would just go to um, Outlook and then in the file menu, you go to add-ins and then search for Todoist and add it in. After you've added it in, it will show up in, if you open any email in Outlook, it'll show up in the top ribbon on the, towards the right hand side. That'll be where all of your add-ins are. You'll be able to see two buttons. One says add to Todoist and one says add to Todoist inbox. The basic difference between these two is if you choose to add something to Todoist, you can actually select the project that it goes to. You can select any labels that you want associated with it. You can put a due date on it. You can put priority levels. And I love that you can change the title. That's probably the biggest thing that I love about it because the subject line of the email might not be helpful for you, but it might be helpful to say, you know, follow up with George on the specs or whatever the, the thing is so that way when you see that title, it'll remind you of what you need to do. And then you can automatically file it into a particular project or you can add a waiting for a label or something like that. So that way you know from that particular email, you've basically processed that thing and when you're ready to move it out of your in email inbox, you've still captured that reminder of what you need to do next in Todoist. So I like that it saves you at least, a, it feels like it saves you a little bit of time, not having to, you know, have your email open, figure out what it is. Okay, let me go into Todoist and then figure out where I wanna put it. You can just basically process it all in one spot. So I really like that. And I think that'll be really helpful. You can also just use the add to Todoist inbox button that will just straight away add things to your inbox. I think this will probably save at least one click from just forwarding an email to your inbox. So I don't know if I'll use this feature as much, but it's definitely a cool option for folks that do wanna forward emails to Todoist often. One thing I have noticed, it's not particularly snappy. That's one thing I wish it was a little bit faster. Also, when you click on the actual hyperlink to the email, I do love that it takes you to the actual email. I think that's fantastic, but I wish it would take you to the Outlook client, the Windows 10 client, instead of taking taking you to the web version of Outlook. If the web version still works and I can still respond to emails from that, but I mostly don't use outlook.com. So it's probably not something, it'll just take a little bit of getting used to, I think for me. So that's just it. I just wanted to give a quick update on that new add-in and make sure that folks know about it. If you don't know about it, definitely go try it. Let me know what you think about it. If you have used it, let me know what you think about it. Either way, just come back and leave me leave a comment below to let me know what your thoughts are, if this looks interesting to you or if you think it would be useful. And also thanks so much for 700 subscribers. That's exciting. I remember when I was at 100, so 700 just seems so wild to me. Definitely let me know if there are things that you wanna see from this channel. YouTube, the algorithm is like really locked me into Todoist and GTD, which I love talking about and that's fine. But there are always gonna be sporadic things that I talk about the channel name, Organizing Hire, talk about the orange of where that comes from and my work in higher education. So I'll definitely do videos about that. I've got one planned soon on graduate school. So how I basically applied for, searched for and applied for graduate schools, how I funded my graduate school program. It's actually cheaper to get my graduate degree than it was to get my undergraduate degree, how I found my first job. So sharing that kinds of stuff and how I started to organize through that process. So definitely let me know if there are things that you wanna see from this channel videos that you want me to make, questions that you have, or or anything like that. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.